Hello and welcome back to a new Node-RED tutorial. In this week's video we will have a look at the Raspberry Pi Senset. The Senset is an extension board for a Raspberry Pi, which provides us with motion data just as acceleration and environment data just as temperature or humidity. Before we can start working with the node, we first need to install it. For that we can go to Manage Palette. Under Install we will search for the Senset. If we found it, you can click on install and wait until it is installed. After the successful installation, we will find it under the Raspberry Pi section in our nodes. So in this week, we will only have a look at the inputs of the Senset and in a future video, we will have a look at the outputs. Now if we drag the node in and double click on it, we can see that we have multiple options for outputs. As standard, they are all selected, but in my experience it's best to only use one type of event per node. So that can be a motion event, an environment event or a joystick event. In this video we will use one node for each one of those events. Now first we will use the motion event, so we will just unselect the other two and use a debug to see what's the output of our node. Now the first thing that we will notice after deploying is that we already get some data and it's gonna be sent pretty fast. So in the info we can actually see that there are approximately 10 messages per second. So that's just something to keep in mind when you want to store this data. If we have a look at the data in our debug tab, we will see that we have the acceleration in all three degrees of freedom, the same for gyroscope, as well as some orientation and compass data. So for the first example, we would like to have the gyroscope in the x-axis. So to do that, we will first use a change node to move the value to the msg.payload. So in the change node we just set msg.payload to msg.payload.gyroscope.x. Now one thing that I like to do is to use a debug to check if I actually selected the right value. So we use a debug and now we hopefully see that our data is displayed and we can see that this worked as we wanted. And if I move my Raspberry Pi around we also see that the values are changing. As in most of our videos, we will use a small dashboard to display the data. So we will call the tab Raspberry Pi and create a group called input where we will put our data. To display our data, we will use a chart, specifically a line chart. We will store the values of the last five minutes. We display a legend to see what value we have. The chart label is going to be acceleration and I always like to add a blank label so we never have a completely empty dashboard. Before we can deploy it we will add a topic to the change node. This value is the value that gets displayed on the chart as the name of the data. If we deploy that we can go to our dashboard and check it out. Now, as mentioned before, there are approximately 10 values per second, which is a bit much. So we can use a delay node here. This allows us to limit the amount of values that get sent per time span. So we select rate limit and default it's one message per second, which is good for us. Then we select drop intermediate messages, which just deletes values that get sent between that one second. Now we will duplicate this flow so that we have one for the environment events and one for the joystick events. In the first node we will select the environment events and in the second one the joystick events. Since we haven't figured out what is the message in the environment events we can use a debug again to see what values are coming out of the node. And we can see that we get temperature, humidity and pressure and we would like to use the temperature for this example. So we just change our change node to payload.temperature and set the topic to temperature 
and we can also add the unit which is degrees Celsius. And of course we also have to change the label of our chart node. The last events that we want to implement are the joystick events. So we will use the debug again. And one thing that's important here is that the data will only be sent if I actually use the joystick. So there will be no data if I don't move around on the joystick. And as you can see, this doesn't make much sense to display that on a dashboard. So we will just use a debug. And I think you will figure it out on your own how to use it in your specific application. So if we go to our dashboard once again, we can see that the acceleration and the temperature are both changing. So that has been it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you could learn something.